Alright guys, welcome to your 37th iPhone development tutorial. And I know I haven't been making a lot of tutorials recently, but I promise you guys that's going to change. Um, now, in this tutorial, one of the main topics that I want to cover, and it's actually one of the last main topics I need to teach you guys before we actually jump into building some pretty sweet specialized programs. It has to deal with um, tapping the screen and um, specialization of touching the screen like for example when you take two fingers and pinch them together or you know you swipe across the screen or touch a special object um, I know we've been dealing with you know touching buttons and stuff like that but there's gonna come across times you want to do something else just besides touch buttons and labels on the screen so that's what I'm gonna be teaching you in uh, this what's it called project this tutorial I guess so go ahead and create a new Xcode project and just go ahead and make it view based right there and name it something perverted like don't touch me there and save that and there we go so rearrange that all nice and neat and let me get everything nice and neat for you guys there we go so in your classes, oh good, you can't even see it. Go ahead to the uh, Don't Touch Me view controller right here, pretty much the main view controller you built, and get rid of this because it's annoying. And let's go ahead and start building a program that can demonstrate what the heck I'm talking about. So like I said, we're going to be dealing with a simple program that recognizes specialized touches. Now there are going to be no buttons. Um, there's going to be a label on a screen just so we can see what we're doing but this has to do with taking your finger and touching the screen now when this happens something called a touch event is generated now check this out every time you touch the iPhone screen your iPhone looks for a built-in method called touches began and there are actually a bunch of different methods that your iPhone looks for to handle touches. Whenever you first touch a screen, it looks for a method called touches began. And this is how it handles the touch event. Now whenever you lift your finger off the screen, um, it looks for something called touches ended. And whatever's in that method, it runs. And whenever you're moving your finger across the screen, and you know your finger is obviously touching the screen, it looks for a method called touches moved and whatever is in here um, this is the bit of code that runs now there's also one more method and this is um, it's like called touches cancelled I think and this is as you're using a touch event like as you're sliding your finger across the screen and your phone rings or something then this would cancel the touch but you know I, I'm not even going to bother coding that because it's a simulator my phone's obviously not going to run ring in the iPhone simulator or else that would be really effed up alright so anyways let's go ahead and build just basic label on screen so UI label and just go ahead and, ahead and name it first label and then under this go ahead property non atomic retain and IB outlet and UI label wow we really f that up label and first label alright looks good enough so go ahead and build this or just hold command B and it'll build save it and now in your resources I'm not even gonna show you this um don't touch I mean I'm not gonna show you me clicking I'm gonna show you me doing it go ahead and take your view and go ahead and drag a label over to it and just go ahead expand this baby on the screen you might as well just leave that text right in there since we're going to change it programmatically alright now go ahead and it should be interesting alright control files owner first label so now go ahead file save inter interface builder quit interface builder alright that's all stuff we learned before now what we need to do now that we got our label all set up, that's a lot of work just to get a label set up, is go over in your main implementation file and there we go, get that situated. 
Now what we want to do first of all, housekeeping stuff, is go ahead and synthesize, what do we name it, first label, just like that. Now I probably should, you know, do stuff like um, release outlets and, you know, take care of objects, but, you know, I'm not going to do that. So first label to be fine, we did that. All right. So under dialic, because I guess that's just where everyone puts these uh, methods, what you want to do is let's go ahead and start building these methods I'm talking about. So right now, if we go ahead and build and run this program, let's see what happens. Well, I got my iPhone stimulator right here just chilling. And I click on the screen and nothing happens. And that's because it looks for the method called touches began, not bacon, touches began to say how do I want to handle my touch. And a click is a touch in a, on your iPhone simulator. So go ahead and close this. And since it has no method yet, it doesn't know how to handle it. So let's go ahead and add those methods that I was talking about. It's void touches began right there as you can see it automatically pops up this is not a method that you know you create yourself from scratch this is a built-in method that you overwrite so um, as you can see it takes an NS set called touches in case you don't know an NS set is pretty much a set of objects so anytime you touch the screen this touches object happens and you don't really use this event parameter so don't even worry about it so what do we want to do whenever a touch first began so again one last time whenever you first touch your iPhone screen or click in your iPhone simulator this method is going to be called so what we want to do is just take that first label and change the text to something you know um you um what are I going to you touch the screen and make sure you spell mostly everything wrong so you know that looks pretty good right there and the other method I want to show you is void touches ended right there and this method gets called whenever you lift your finger off the screen so let's go ahead and copy this because you know I'm way too lazy to type it out again and first of all that text you lifted your finger off the screen that's obviously not, not going to fit on uh, my label at all whoa what the heck just happened I totally typed that in the wrong place wow alright maybe this will work a little bit you lifted your finger off the screen there we go that's a tidbit better eh? alright and the last one I want to talk to you guys about is this one called void touches moved and this happens as you're sliding your finger across the screen so if you ever played like fruit ninja or anything like that this is pretty much when you swipe your finger this is what's happening so go ahead and copy this again maybe I won't F it up this time copy paste and let's go with why did I just yeah you move let's go you are moving your finger and get rid of this actually just move down now I probably messed something up with copy and paste and all those but no nope, looks pretty good so now check this out now when we click it says uh, let me try to get it you touch the screen so I'm pressing down I'm simulating clicking right now just touching my finger to the screen so when I first do that this method touches began is gonna call it, you touch the G A G screen alright so that's what I'm doing right there now check it whenever I lift up you lifted your finger off the screen and that's me letting go of the mouse alright so that's the middle one and now check this out whenever we move our mouse while clicking down you are moving your finger aka mouse on the iPhone stimulator so that is your basics of a uh, a touching program in the next program we'll build it a little bit smarter but yeah that's your basics for now and I'm running out of time so uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later